Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started here. This is a featured eBay store video. So basically, I'm going to show you one store's big money bolos. And why am I doing this? Because everybody sources different. And this is Edge City Traders. I will link them down below and go and save their eBay store. Right now they have um, 680 items sold, 51 followers. So if you follow them by clicking on the heart, when they send out coupons or when they list new items, you will get notifications. So it's a great way to um, possibly snag a deal. So check out their store here. Lots of really great items. Again, that will be linked down in the description. As you can see, lots of breakables, the things I shy away from, but things that do sell. So let's get started here. They do have a YouTube channel, not much content on them, but I will link that down below also. And you guys can subscribe to them there as well. So they had a little tip here about Mexican folk art pottery or plates. Uh, they said... I thrifted these separately and paid a total of $6 for both. They sold on Etsy for $36.03. That includes shipping. She said, I do not recommend picking up this type of Mexican pottery, unmarked and brightly colored with lots of tiny figures. It is hand painted, but it is also mass produced tourist souvenir pottery. So it's still sold. So if you can source it super cheap, she did sell it on Etsy, but she's saying it's not as desirable because it's mass produced. Uh, it's it's more popular, but hey, you know, it sold. Now this one, she said, vintage Mexican folk art pottery. Here we go. Potam Bon. <laughs> she wrote it out for me and I'm still messing it up. Potam Bon. That's what it's called. Vintage Mexican folk art pottery, Patambon, green chicken rooster bowl, oh, Mexico terracotta, red ware, double two handle, open sugar dish. Uh, she said she got it at Unique Thrift for $2.50 and sold on Etsy to a buyer in England who was all in for $53.86. The next Etsy item is... It says, although this bowl was unmarked, I was able to look it up and identify the type of pottery using Google Lens. If you don't know how to use Google Lens, it's a free app. Type Bolo Buddies Google Lens into the YouTube search, and I will show you exactly how to use it. It is awesome, and if you're a reseller, you have to have it. It's a must-have. Vintage MCM Art Glass Coaster Set paid $8 at an antique mall, sold on Etsy for $56.17, including shipping to California. These looked very mid-century to me, and they were heavy and substantial. The textured glass reminded me of patterns of light and shade in a swimming pool. So I put pool party in the title. The buyer told me that she was buying them to use by her pool and that they make her feel nostalgic for the 70s. All right, there you have it. Uh, vintage MCM art glass coaster set, pebble ripple, textured colors, green, amber, cranberry, mid-century, modern, 1960s, 1970s, Pool party patio. Check it out. Let's look at some of these other photos. Look at that. Those are cool. Those are really neat. Really neat. Okay. Let's look at this next one. So now we're going to go over to eBay and we are going to start from some of the ones that were just interesting to me that I asked for info on. And then we're going to get into the big money. So this first one, I was just like, it's a cricket. Yeah, it's a cricket. It's a realistic metal grasshopper, six inch large vintage Lucky Hearth Cricket Green. Uh, she said, the person I bought it from told me that there is a legend about it being lucky to have a cricket in your fireplace and that this was his lucky fireplace cricket, except that it actually is a grasshopper. <laughs> That's why I put Lucky Hearth Cricket in the title. It's a grasshopper. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. Um, she said she bought it at an estate sale for two, sold on best offer for 10 plus shipping. She said it's gigantic, six, six inches long, realistic looking metal grasshopper. It would no doubt have sold faster for more money, but its antennas were missing. 
Yeah, it does look a little funny without its an antennas. Now, this next one, I just love this. Uh, they are koozies. You guys know, like, koozies? Would you have walked right past these? They are neoprene Mexican import beer zip neck bottle. Logo um, is, let's see, Pacifico Clara koozies. Uh, bought a unique, bought at unique. I think that's the thrift store name. In a baggie with four other koozies. Paid $2.80 for the baggie of about, or about $1.20 for these three. And they sold in a couple of weeks for my full asking price of $18.88 plus shipping. When I looked these up, there were no comps. Also, the tags don't have barcodes. So I figured they were a promotional item. So something like that, you just take your best guest or you do an auction and you hope it sells. And it looks like they sold it. There you go. Uh, this one right here, I couldn't get the listing to open up, but I love this little guy. You guys know I love selling plush. So of course I picked this one out. I've never seen him before. He's a booba, a boo ba. 2004 Orange Play School Zing 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 Ba Bean Stuffed Animal Plush Toy. Uh, yeah. 2004 paid $3.50 at the Goodwill, sold on offer of $16.88 plus shipping. And it looks like it has the original tag. And swivel sticks. If you don't know, some vintage swivel sticks, even if you can find the singles, the vintage advertising ones can be really nice profits. Um, I don't want to say all of them are big money. No, most of them are not. But every once in a while, you can find one that really stands out. But it does take time to look them up. So if you're ever at an estate sale and you see a big pile of swivel sticks, not these necessarily, but the ones that are plastic with vintage advertising, you might want to pick those up. And you may want to look them up too, because some of them do well. Uh, all of Swivel Stick Set picked up at the Goodwill for $2.50 and sold for $25.83 shipping, including shipping. I picked this up because it was a complete set, new in the box, and pretty cool looking. Yeah, I love the little front advertising. I don't know how old it is. It does have a barcode. It's made in China, but they are definitely retro looking for sure. So $16.88 plus shipping on those. Okay, let's look at this next one. She's got it in parentheses here, how to pronounce it. Chesta Chawa? Chesta Chawa. Madonna. It is a, I think it's a, a print. Let's see, a varnished print or an original painting. She's not sure. So let's take a look at the photos here. It looks like she said she took a best offer of $30 and paid $3.50 for it at the Goodwill. I do love how they take the time to do this. I am way too lazy to do this, but uh, they point out the flaws with a little arrow, which is really, really, really smart, but time consuming. So let me know if you guys do anything like that in the comments or if it's something that you may think of doing in the future. Oh, look at this frog. Iron frog candle holder bought on SGW. In a lot of eight animal figurines and figural items that cost approximately $350 each, sold for $41.80. It is a iron frog candle holder cast pillar waiter bow tie tray spike floor table vintage. How cool is that? That's a fun item. This next one is a counted cross stitch kit, 12 floral bookmarks. That's fun. Don't know how to say that. Her Chanel, Hershner's <laughs> La Flora Flowers. We'll just say that. Paid $3.50 in an estate sale. Sold for $36.88 plus shipping. There were no comps for the cross-stitch kit, but I knew it would sell for a decent amount because of the subject matter and complexity and because it makes 12 bookmarks. I could probably have sold it for more. The next item... is hold on a second let me see what's going on here okay two mug set penguin books publisher logo advertising black matte ceramic orange these are mugs and you know i hear a lot of people say i i don't pick up mugs because they're so expensive to ship and usually there's not a good return um i'm 
I don't pick up a lot of mugs, but there are certain mugs like Hearthstone. I, I don't know. I always pick up Hearthstone mugs. It's one of those things. I find them in Ohio all the time. Some of them do okay. Most of them are bread and butter. I haven't been picking them up as much lately, but yeah, some mugs do really well, but they are expensive to ship. Let me know down in the comments. Do you sell mugs? So these are penguin books and got at the local Goodwill for $1.50 each. So $3 total for both sold for $44.08 with shipping. She said, I do really well selling literary themed mugs. I will buy a single mug, but a matched set is even better. Turned Burl Wood bought at Goodwill for $34.97 and sold for $34 plus shipping. Oopsie. This was an early buy and I paid too much. I researched the item before I bid on it and I thought that I could sell it for close to 100. However, at that price, it was not getting any interest. So I gradually lowered the price. Okay. So what's good to know about this is that we all make mistakes and it was a bad buy, but it's pretty cool. And some of these do go for a lot of money. Uh, this one, for some reason, did not. Uh, I don't know. So you can, oh, look at that. It's got a glass tube in it. Huh. Wow. Turned Burlwood la Lathe Art Bud Vase Vintage Sculptural. So you can, it's a vase. Wow. That's kind of cool. Huh. I don't know. Her keywords are great. But anyway, so she lost money on it, but definitely something to just kind of show that we all make mistakes, but it is a cool item. I'm surprised it didn't go for more. Hand carved wood Finley Friar, Frayer statue communion chalice painted religious reed. So she's probably got something in the description that tells maybe some details about the item. Um, I do that also. I will put read in the title because most of the time people do not read unless you put read. Hand carved wood um, Finley Frayer bought on. Shop Goodwill for $23 and sold it for $44.80. This was another early purchase that turned out to be a bad buy. I did not research the figure before bidding on it. I also did not closely look at the photos, so I missed the fact that the paint is damaged on the back of the statue. So, let's see. I'm guessing she probably pointed out the issues maybe right here. Oh, I see right here. Yeah, but it's old, you know, it's old. All right. So she did make her money back plus some money. So if you find something like this for a dollar, pick it up. But uh, she didn't make money because she overpaid. But we all do that sometimes. Okay. Here's another one. <laughs> She said, I consider it a bad buy because the profit margin is smaller than I like. It is not a very popular Yadro, or wait, I'm sorry, it's Yadro, Yadro figurine. So it took a while to sell and Yadro figurines are very delicate. So it takes quite a while to pack them. She said, today I would pay no more than 12 for this figurine. All right. So Yadro is a very, very... There for a while, I was hearing a lot about it. I haven't heard as much about it lately. This is the maker's mark on the bottom. There are a lot of figurines out there that look like Yadro that are not. So look for the maker's mark. I don't know if they're all marked the same. I'm, I don't, I've never found one. I know some of them can go for crazy big money and others not so much. This one, she said, uh, picked up from an estate sale. She paid $40 for it. And it was early in her reselling career and sold it for $68.05, including tax and shipping. So yeah, she took probably a little bit of a loss on that after fees. But it is a great brand and it is something that you guys should definitely know about. Flamingo Windsor Brooch Pave Crystal Peacock Icy Rainbow Gold Tone Statement Piece. Look at that. Wonder how she found that. Do you think Google Lens? Google Lens. Picked it up at the Goodwill. Uh, the per, I was like price per piece. The 
per item price was about $6.60. So that's a lot. Um, I researched this unsigned vintage rhinestone brooch, used Google Lens, and found that it was a replica of a famous brooch that Edward, the Duke of Windsor, had commissioned Cartier to make for his wife, the Duchess of Windsor. So I added the word Windsor to the title and included a photo of the Duchess of Windsor wearing her Cartier brooch. The brooch sold on 15% off sale for $62.80. So I think as long as all of that is explained in the description that it is not an original, I think that's fine. But um, I don't know. Do you guys, would you have done that? Or do you think that could add some confusion? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Always welcome to have a discussion down below um, with different opinions on different things. I don't include any extras because I'm not researching anything. I don't have time. My husband, on the other hand, researches everything. Uh, that is what I love about Whatnot is that I can just bring my jewelry to Whatnot and I can show it to you guys and you can bid on it. And have I lost money? Absolutely. But, you know, you guys are making money. It's fun. It's a quick way to move inventory. Yes, I know I could sell it for more on eBay. I've had people tell me that all the time. Yes, I know. But um, I enjoy it. And I hope to see you guys at a whatnot show someday. My link is down below. If you guys are not on whatnot, definitely check it out. Um, I do have a referral link, you'll get $15 to shop if you use that. So come check me out bolo buddies on whatnot. All right, let's look at the next one here. Uh, Rosenthal La Ola plates for lunch plates here holland america pattern cobalt blue and gold so these look really just pretty simple oh there's a little detail there we go and here is what the back looks like um goodwill outside baltimore for a dollar fifty each six dollars total in researching the pattern i discovered that it is exclusive to holland america lines so i put that in the description Sold it for $68.66, including shipping. So again, definitely somebody who researches their items, unlike me. One rim chip round plate. Look, look at the detail, you guys. This is awesome. I mean, if you have time to do this, and I mean, it's smart. It's smart, but I don't do it. <laughs> but I also am not selling breakables on eBay. Ver I rarely so i shouldn't say never shouldn't say never uh let's see how about this vintage murano swan goose art glass red yellow summer so adventurine mid-century that is rad and you can see here it's got the red background look at that you guys is that amazing who likes it on the blue whoop whoop all right, kind of a hard item to photograph because it's got that clear beak. Uh, wood ducks, or no, wait. Uh, hmm. Murano Swan Goose. Purchased on eBay for myself for $41.20. After a couple of years, I decided to sell it. Sold on eBay for $69.37, including shipping. So pretty much about broke even on that. But hey, if you can buy something for yourself, enjoy it for a few years and sell it for what you paid for it, or a little more. That's fantastic. Wood Ducks painting bought on Shop Goodwill for $48.92. Sold with one bid on eBay auction for $89 plus shipping. Um, signed oil canvas, Justin Hughes. I'll tell you what, paintings, not my thing. I just, I, whew, they're, they're tough. It's like, how do you know if it's, um, an actual painting or a print. This one looks like it's kind of obvious. But uh, yeah, again, the arrow with the damage. Depression as seen on back. Look at this. Two drips. I love it. I love it. Who else loves the arrows and the details? Wow, I've never seen that before. Tiffany Studios' desk set, inherited from my grandmother, was in poor condition with cracked glass, dense deteriorated bronze these two pieces are part of a larger piece desk set sold within 15 minutes of listing for 184 dollars plus shipping i messaged back and forth with the buyer to make sure 
that he was aware of the damage. He said that he was, and he buys and restores the items. So this is absolutely stunning. But um, again, we're going to kind of look at the details of the photos and how they showed the issues. So you got all your measurements and look right here. Is this awesome? I love it. I love it. That's great. You know, I mean, how there's no way they're getting an item not as described. I mean, it is all there, all there. This is a stoneware vase, signed pottery, art pottery, blue glaze, resist spiral leaves, wheel thrown, bought at an estate sale for $7.50 and sold for $55.55 plus shipping. Antique Italian elf, Damon bird, ceramic canister, lidded jar, hand painted angel. Uh, local consignment and auction house for $12.50, sold for $81 plus shipping. And you can see right here's the little signature. Interesting, huh? It's got crazing. All right, let's look at the next one here. Signed Ickholt Paperweight Vintage Art Glass Iridescent Glitter Ribbons Two-Sided. And it says, bought at Wa local Washington, D.C. consignment and auction house for 23 and sold for 64 best offer plus shipping. And we can kind of take a peek at, ooh, look how pretty the top is. Oh, wow, that's awesome. I love it when you can like see the color. Wow, great photos. You guys, here are examples of awesome photos if you're looking to like up your game. Framed lithograph Garden Paris Versailles, Elmo, Gideon, Vintage, Mid-Century, France. Bought at the Goodwill in Statesboro, Georgia for five when I was visiting family and sold it for a best offer of $35.88 plus shipping. So an old uh, painting, right? Litho no, it's a lithograph. I remember picking something up one time and I'm like, I don't know how to tell if it's real or if it's a print. And my husband's like, uh, take a loop and like look really close. And he was trying to tell me and I'm like, I, I can't figure this out. So I nope, art is not my thing. But there is a lot of money in art if you can figure it out. Original frame cat drawing pop art signed Meyer Lieberman ink colored pencil. That is really cool. Bought at a local animal humane thrift for five and sold for 107 plus shipping. The next item here is this uh, vintage, ooh, Caledon vase, pillow blue, green, teal, crackle, glaze, square porcelain. Here's the bottom and here is the top. Got a unique thrift, same company as Savers, paid 12 and sold it for $75.20. And the buyer paid shipping. So really pretty color there. All right, you guys. Again, that is Edge City Traders. And go and follow their eBay store down below. It is linked. Thank you guys so much for being here. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. Um, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here. A subscribe and a video down below. So check those out. And as always, thanks for watching.